on 22nd that is last week idol of ram lalla was consecrated as expected a debate came out that whether indian democracy because of different religious practices that are being followed by large part of its population especially the majority population is leaning towards becoming a religious state and if there is a religious state what are the various implications of a religious state in the lives of citizen especially on the economic sphere this led me thinking and i did some research as to what is the influence of religion on economy and finance as all of us know christianity in its earlier format played an important role in shaping and forming the political governance but as economy became more and more globalized people who were associated with it a lot of work has been done yuval noah harari's books uh, says about uh, many of these things and the recent works of uh, sanjeev malhotra sanjeev sanyal and others have probed into the role of religion here are a few things which we need to keep in mind the first one is religious influence in ethical guidelines and business practices is probably the most important and critical factor that influences economy and finance many religions provide ethical guidelines which influence business practices for example let us take the islamic finance based principles of sharia law it says that interest or riba speculative behavior or gharar leads to unethical practices as a result unique financial products and innovation in the form of sukuk or islamic bonds or sharia compliant instruments got developed work ethics and productivity is invariably influenced by the religion the religious beliefs and the cultural practices and values max weber did some theorization of the protestant work ethic suggested the values of hard work and frugality are emphasized not just in protestantism but also plays a significant role in the development of capitalism as the basic tenet of human progress let us look at consumer behavior religious beliefs can always influence consumer behavior for example if there is a dietary law if you go to rural hinterland of many areas in my own state odisha or something like that no meat is sold on thursdays because religion prohibits eating of non vegetarian food so typically the fish market and the mutton market are closed on those days seasonal spikes happen diwali sales or christmas sales are all related to religious practices where a particular way of celebration is mandated by religion and linked to that the consumer behavior so spikes the industrial production the consumer value chain delivery are all aligned to that next important thing which emanates out of religious practice is the investment decision many religious individuals and institutions prefer investment to be aligned on moral and ethical beliefs these days there are integrity pacts and a study indicates that in india for example deals are not made during the the months which are considered inauspicious banks avoid tobacco gambling because mostly becomes untenable because of people's belief around religion next important thing that comes to my mind is the redistributive character of wealth through charity because of a religious belief a lot of uh, foundations a lot of uh, work has been done around understanding the philosophy of a charity by both individuals and family foundation the concept of zakat in islam is a form of charitable giving and is considered the responsibility of every muslim dan in hinduism are all methods of ensuring that charity and redistribution emanating out of religious beliefs are used economically beneficially for the better social good 
the legal and regulatory framework, for example, the marriage laws are often derived from the religious practices of marriage. People taking oath on a Bible or a Gita or a Quran are based on the belief that religious practices are always supreme and religious beliefs are way above the human, logical, rational kind of explanations. Religion has also a use in conflict and cooperation, which has deep economic implications. Last, the cultural exchange and the globalization. The pockets of concentration of different religions is a historical factor. However, as the world becomes uh, increasingly interconnected by the influence of uh, uh, internet, by the influence of social media, by the influence of uh, global travel and uh, talent permeating the national boundaries to create value uh, across the globe, religions, various types have brought in values and practices which tend to be spreading across the boundaries. And in alien countries, religion has been found to be one of the great cementing factors for furthering and preserving cultural identities in an increasingly global market. So each of these aspects that I just mentioned, although deeply demonstrates the intertwined nature of economy and religion and financial systems getting impacted because of the religious practices and uh, religious mandates, the direct and indirect ways will evolve as the religions get modernized and there is a interchanging cha nature of the practice that is happening between the practitioners of religion, the preachers of religion and the followers of religion. Thank you very much.